Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to set up your Amazon Echo device so that it can give commands to your Asus router. I'm using in my example here the Amazon Echo 4th Gen device and the Asus router RT-AX3000 or RT-AX50A2 but the instructions I'm gonna show you will apply also to other Amazon Echo devices and to the Asus routers that are compatible with Amazon Echo. So let's start. The first thing you need to do is to log in to your router's administration page and this is an Asus router. So the administration page is this one, router.asus.com and here log in to your router. And when you log in to your router, scroll until you find on the left here and if this, then that. Click on it. And notice the message here. It is telling you that you need to enable dynamic DNS and web access from WAN for remote control in order for the Amazon Echo device to be able to communicate with your router. So if you click on the link here, it will enable it for you. But if it will enable it for you, it will give you a random dynamic DNS and if you're using like a VPN to access your network from outside it will be very difficult so it's better to enable DDNS yourself and also the remote access and I'm gonna show you how to do it so let me go back here to one so click on one and then click on DDNS here and let's enable DDNS so you have many domain names here so let me choose Asus and then here just put a name that you can identify with. So let me put any name here. So my DDNS345. Of course, put a name that is significant to you here so that you don't forget it. And keep everything by default. And then click on apply. So the settings will be applied. And you see here, it will give you registration is successful. If someone else didn't take the DDNS name before you, in case the registration is not successful, just try with another name. So now we enabled DDNS, we still need to enable the remote access. So scroll until you find something called administration, click on it, and then here click on system and scroll to the bottom. And you see here you have enable web access from one, click on yes to enable it, and then keep everything by default, and then click on apply. So now we have dynamic DNS and the access from the one to manage the router that are enabled. Now let's go back to and if this then that. And here notice that the message disappeared and it is replaced by another message that's saying follow the steps here to pair your router with the Amazon Echo device. Notice that I'm trying not to say so that your devices don't respond to my commands. So here, choose your country. I'm in Canada, so I'm going to choose Canada. And then click on link. And it will open the Amazon web page that will let you link your Amazon Echo device with your Asus router. So if you're not signed in to your Amazon account that is linked to your Amazon Echo device, click on sign in and then put your credentials and sign in. So once you sign in, the sign in button transforms to an enable button. Click on it and it will take you to another page to link your router with the Amazon Echo device. So here it will ask you to give it an activation code. To get the activation code, you need to go back to the administration page of your router and notice here the second step is get activation code. So click on it and here before it gives you the activation code, sometimes it asks you to confirm your age if it is 16 years or older. So here I confirmed it before. If it asks you this, of course, confirm your age and then click on copy. So the activation code is now copied to the clipboard. And notice here that we have two minutes to use this activation code. So click back on this tab, which is link account. And let's paste the activation code and then click on activate. And give it a minute to activate. So now it's linking the Amazon Echo device to your Asus router. And here you have the message saying that your Asus router has been successfully linked to your Amazon Echo device. And you receive an email also on the email that is associated with your Amazon account. So let's go to the Asus router administration webpage and see what are the commands that we can use. So here you have 
some of the commands let me click on more skills and here it will show you all the commands that you can perform on your router so let me show you now a couple of basic commands that you can perform on your Asus router through your Amazon Echo device. For instance, now I'm going to show you a command that will allow you to configure the router to give priority to media streaming devices. Notice that now the QoS is set to custom on my router. Let me show you. If I refresh the page, see that it stays on custom. So let me ask my router to enable media mode. Ask my router to turn on media mode. The router has been set to media mode. Enjoy video streaming. So now let me refresh the page and you're going to see how the router turned to media mode. So it prioritized media mode. And see that the media mode was set in QoS. So let me show you now another command. Ask my router to upgrade the firmware. Your firmware version is up to date. And there's one particular function in the Asus router, which is a guest network that has a setting specifically for. So let me show you. And here I enabled the guest network for the 5 GHz band that says underneath it the default setting by slash if this then that. So this guest network here can be controlled by the Amazon Echo device. So let me show you. Ask my router to disable the guest network. The guest network is disabled. And let me refresh the page now. And notice how the guest network was disabled. I want to thank you all for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you did, please share it. Subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it will help the channel greatly. Until next time.